returning home from Iraq and having a chance to look back at some of my pictures from time to time, it's a, it's a bittersweet kind of thing. I really enjoyed my time over there, getting to learn a lot about the people and, and do my job that I was trained to do as well. It was very rewarding. Um, also on the flip side of that, the bitter part would be that looking back on some of the pictures of people with that are very poverty stricken and very sick, uh, people that were very angry from ignorance and things like that, it kind of still pulls at me very strongly in a way that makes me want to almost go back and finish certain things or try and reach out to more people, um, but it, you kind of have to kind of keep telling myself that you can't fix everything, but it, it's really nice to have these photos to look back on, to remember both a lot of the good things that went on there and a lot of the things that I can't change but I've been able to learn from as well. to have this opportunity to share my photography with students at Montgomery County Community College, people in the community, and veterans and combat veterans. I think that it's very important that we continue to share our stories and talk to people about our experiences. I think that not only is it a great way to get awareness about other cultures out, but it's great too for healing and just build that camaraderie even after you've left a service or retired or possibly injured you still have that bond with other veterans and it's nice to be able to talk to one another about something. The most important message that I think that people can take away from this, whether or not they support the war in Iraq, is that it's not always just good guy, bad guy. There's a lot to learn from other cultures, um, and we may recognize that a lot more than we think that other cultures are very similar to ours sometimes. <laughs>